Hello everyone, this is Tricky, and welcome back to another episode of my top 10 coolest Pokemon fusions. I believe that we are on episode 6, and if not, I can't freaking count, but oh well. I would like to apologize for the lack of uploads. A lot of things have been happening recently, but I really miss you guys. So I'm really happy to be back, and I'll be trying to upload a lot more because I love you. Well, anyways, in our last episode, I asked you guys to come up with your own unique fusion. So many of you came up with all kinds of creative fusion ideas, and I loved them. I loved reading them. So I encourage you for this episode to list your own fusion again in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm going to share three of them that I really, really, really liked, and I'll be doing this in every fusion video. So if you want yours to be picked randomly, then I suggest that you get to town in the comments. If I mispronounce your username? I am so sorry. First we have Benatory 4. Bennett and Slugma. Fire Ghost. Ability Fiery Soul. This Pokemon gains back HP from fire attacks and burns. Signature move, Hellfire. Sacrifice a quarter of the Pokemon's HP to inflict both a curse and a burn. That's freaking awesome. Next we have a fusion from Neepcat Kuwata? Maybe? Their fusion is a Maniana and a Sylveon. Sylviana, type, dark fairy. Ability, shadow silk. Boosts its attack when hit by a fairy type move. Signature move, new moon. A dark type move that guarantees a flinch from the opponent. May also lower speed and attack. Because Sylveon is the best Pokemon. Anyway. And finally, Miguel's fusion is a Ninetales and an Arbuck fusion. Its ability is Seduce. It's Fire and Poison. And one of its moves that cracked me up is Love Hurts. Opponent becomes infatuated and will inflict damage upon itself. Lasts six turns. That sucks, but it reminds me of Medusa, and I really, really like it. Well, those are our viewer fusions for today, so let's go ahead and get started with our actual top 10. Taking our number 10 spot, we have a Haunter and a Dragonair fusion. This guy actually showed up in one of my videos from last year. I just love it so much because I love Haunter, and the fact that I love Dragonair, it's just so beautiful. It looks so mischievous, and I just love its smile, but for some reason, I wish that we had, like, a Dragon-type Pokemon that looked like this. I know we have Garatina, which is a ghost dragon, but this looks more ghostly. And if anything, I think Garatina looks more like a bug. That's just my own personal opinion. But I would love something like this. I love this fusion so much, and in, in a weird way, I actually think it's cute. But that's because I think Haunter is cute, but I'm weird. A name for this fusion could be Dragon Nainer. Wait, what? Um. I don't freaking- okay, I, I can't recover from that one. I, I really can't. Let's move on. Moving on to number nine, we have a Mew and a Deoxys fusion. Of course, in this picture, we also have a Celebi, a Jirachi, and a Manaphy, but I love the Mew. I love this so much because Mew is the DNA Pokemon, and Deoxys has one of the coolest designs because his arms resemble DNA strand thingies, and that being combined with Mew, it makes sense. And in a way, if they ever gave Mew a mega form, which I think that they should, because why would you give Mew two warning up Mew? What the fuck? It's just a really good combination with Mew. It's the ancestor of all Pokemon. I know that Deoxys is an alien Pokemon, but in a way, Mew could be an alien as well. And not only that, it could also be Deoxys possessing Mew. I feel like it could do something like that. That's honestly really cool to me. A name for this fusion could be Mewoxys or Dew. Mm. Moving on to number 8, we have a Magneton and an Arbuck fusion. This fusion is absolutely lovely. It could either be a Steel Poison type, which I think would be really cool, but a Steel Electric type would probably be the one that makes the most sense, considering there's sparks of electricity going all the way around. But I think that that is so awesome. I love how the electricity is chaining around its hood. That is really cool. I love it whenever people draw fusions in a more defined way. Like for an example, if they just put like an eyeball to make Arbuck into a Cyclops snake. Yeah, that's cool and all, but I love the extra details. That extra creativity makes these fusions so amazing to me. I love this one. It's really, really cool. And I would not want to be cornered by it because it would probably wrap me up, electrocute me, and eat me. Yay. The name given to this fusion is Magnum Buck. I like it. Taking our number 7 spot, we have a Cubone and a Zapdos fusion. This thing is scary. And in a way, I think it would be Ghost and Flying. That would be really cool. To be completely honest, just looking at the picture, I honestly wouldn't even be able to tell that it is a Zapdos fusion. And I think that's why I like it so much, because again, with that artistic creativity, they was able to create something of their own with just the qualities of Cubone and Zapdos. I love fusions so much, they're so cool. 
but this thing is lovely and scary. The name given to this fusion is Kudos. Moving on to number 6, we have a Darkrai and a Mewtwo fusion. Not only is the Dark Psychic type extremely amazing, but I honestly really really like the design of this. It's very very simple, but it's still a really amazing fusion. A name for it could be Murai or Dark Tube. I have no idea. Moving on to number 5, we have a Mega Charizard X and a Raichu fusion. I love colored pencil drawings. And I'm not an artist, so if this isn't colored pencils, I feel like an idiot. It could be crayons. I don't know. But I love the style that this is drawn in, and the details are beautiful. I love the ears so much. And plus the fire that is coming out of Charizard's mouth, it is now coming out of the cheeks. Fire electric? Or fire and something. I love this fusion so much. It's adorable and in a way I wish that Raichu had a mega evolution that was this amazing. It's honestly really weird that Raichu, which is the evolution of the mascot of Pokemon, does not have a mega evolution, but if they did it would have to be this cool because it's honestly amazing. I love it. A name for this fusion could be Rhizard or Charchu. I like Charchu. It's cute. Taking our number four spot, we have a Jolteon and a Scyther fusion. Tell me that this doesn't look freaking awesome. Look at the details in the fur and the face. I love it. And even in the wings, it looks like there's even fur traces like on the outlines of it. Not only can this thing cut you up into pieces and can fly, it can electrocute you. The power that is in this fusion is amazing. I love it. And, and, and in its own little way, it even looks like a werewolf. Just look at the way that it you can see the muscles in its stomach. I love the creativity in this. Of course, it's simple. It's only two colors, maybe three, maybe four. I don't know. Because I don't know all the shades and stuff. Jolther. Oh, yeah. Taking on number 3 spot, we have a Swampert and an Agron fusion. I always wanted to know what Swampert would look like if it was black, and I don't have Photoshop skills so I couldn't just throw black on it because I suck. I am so happy that somebody made this fusion because it is beautiful. I'm pretty sure that Agron and Swampert are in my top 10 favorite Hoenn Pokemon and it's just lovely. It looks bulky and it honestly looks like it would destroy you. It could be water and steel, but think if this was its mega form. I would use the crap out of that. It's lovely. I love how its metal helmet is even covering half of its face, because in a way that makes it seem more badass. That's just my own personal opinion, but I love it. The artist did a fantastic job. A name for this fusion could be Agwomper. Holy wow. A name could be... Ah, uh, I ain't got none. Moving on to number two, we have a Rayquaza, Groudon, and a Kyogre fusion. I love this one because of the memories behind it. This fusion was originally used as a fake leak, and I loved it so much, because honestly, the design is actually kind of cool. It, it more or less resembles Groudon, but just with a serpentine body, but I still really like it. This fusion fooled so many people though, and you know me, I'm all about the tricks, so whenever this happened, I was just laughing so hard. No offense to anybody who was actually fooled by this leak, or this fake leak, but, but before I reveal number one, be sure to list your fusion in the comment section below and I will pick out three of them for our next fusion video. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter. You'll stay updated. Plus bonding time. Bonding time is always fun. Taking our number one spot is an Agron, an Infernape, and a Garchomp fusion. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. This Pokemon is a Fire Dragon Steel type. I know that is three types, but this thing's a god, so it could get away with it, okay? All right, cool. Its special ability is God Gator. Oh, it really is a god. Its signature move is, I can't read that. Some giant word that I can't really read. The font is too tiny, but it's something fire. But in any case, this artist is wonderful. I love Dragonith. I think that's how you pronounce his name. One of the best fusion artists out there. But just be sure to check out all of these artists. I put their Deviant Art links in the description, so be sure to check these people out. They are amazing. I love this fusion. I want one. I would play with this thing in Pokemon and me and feed it cupcakes every day. Yeah. The name given to this fusion is Infer. Infer something. Infergaron. 
Yeah, something like that. But it's awesome. I love it. I hope you guys join me in our next episode. And be sure to watch my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire playthrough. It is going to be lots of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.